lot of people are interested in how can um, humans use artificial intelligence to learn better, learn faster, uh, to have an assistant on the side where you actually would be maybe going to university together with your artificial intelligence assistant and you would learn about each other while you're going to university. Uh, and there's really interesting research now that shows, uh, for example, a doctor who is trying to diagnose um, a medical condition. If you have an artificial intelligence listening to the process, the artificial intelligence is able to more accurately diagnose the medical condition, but only if it gets to listen to the doctor talk to the patient. One of the things that's really holding back a lot of the very innovative new solutions are, um, and, an and this is not specific to MENA, but I think it also applies here, is an education system that was designed for a time that looked very different from the world today. So I think we should challenge a lot of those assumptions um, and maybe relax the rules a little bit. Companies all over the world are reporting that they can't find the, the right talent and the skills that they're looking for are actually creativity, uh, you know, people who are, who, who are continuous lifelong learners, people who can collaborate with others and for a number of reasons our education system isn't really emphasizing those things. You know, a lot of people at good universities develop those skills but not, it's almost like by accident, it's through experiences like this, you know, sitting around a table with other people, being in a new context, becoming curious about a new problem. Um, but the education system should support these kinds of experiences much more. And so I think employers are starting to demand it. Um, and I think parents are starting to realize it, that their kids are happier and their kids are better learners if they're in an environment where they have more freedom and their curiosity is supported and those kinds of things. There are some really great technologies uh, that kids can use to be creators with technology. Um, there's a project out of the Media Lab actually called Scratch, uh, where young children can use uh, a block-based computer programming language to make stories and games. And there are over 12 million kids have signed up from all over the world and they're making projects. And uh, it's really incredible to see them share stories with each other and help each other. So there are lots of opportunities like that. Um, there's another project out of the Media Lab where parents started a new school. It's okay to not follow the rules, you know, follow your passion. Um, and then also, no one's, Joey Ito, who's the director, he said, no one's ever won the Nobel Prize for following the rules. And he's right. Uh, so we're hoping to create environments for people who, who want to follow their own rules.